Hi everyone, and greetings from one of our favorite vacation destinations, and that's the Smoky Mountain towns of Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. I go by the legend show by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. And one of our favorite things about Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg is, well, it changes, and there's always so many new and exciting things. In this video here, we're gonna show up everything that is new for 2024 in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Right now, we're at the most popular attraction in the area, and that is Dollywood. Here at Dollywood 2024, they are doubling down on Dolly herself. Um, if you've been to this section of the park before, you would know that there was a theater here, along with the Chasing Rainbows Dolly Parton Museum. Well, they're going to do all sorts of new stuff. It's going to be called the Dolly Parton Experience. There's going to be a new exhibits about her life. I believe there's going to be some projection mapping stuff, a new show, and then a new exhibit all about her, her looks and outfits over the years. So if you're a big fan of Dolly Parton and you're coming to Dollywood for Dolly Parton, this is going to be somewhere you're going to spend a lot of time. One change at Dollywood for this year, Lightning Rod, one of the park's most popular rides, it used to have a launch to take you up the big first hill. That was problematic and ended up with the ride being closed a lot, so they replaced it this year with a high-speed chain lift. It, the ride is still very, very good. This makes it more reliable. So a lot of times you come to Dollywood and the ride was not working, that lift the hill um, launch was why. We're currently at what I feel is the most interesting new for 2024 attraction in the towns of Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, and that is the Diggin' Zone construction-based theme park. Now, it's, it's a very interesting attraction. They took all this mechanical equipment and made more or less theme park rides out of them. Like this thing right here is a row of seats. You're gonna sit down on that and get twirled around. A lot of these little guys over here, they turned into what's more or less like midway games where you try to knock things down or pick things up, and then all sorts of other things, like you drive a front loader around like it was a go-kart track, and uh, it looks really, really fun. Unfortunately, the timing might not work out on this one. If you're really watching this clip, it did not work out because um, it is closed Wednesday and Thursday, and then unfortunately, we got some bad weather later on in the week, so if you're watching this clip, that is why we are not in there playing with some heavy machinery. Uh, it is an expensive attraction, though. Uh, adults' tickets are $70, and kids' tickets are $55. And kids are 10 and under. Right now on the strip in Pigeon Forge, in the same parking lot as Wonderworks and the Hard Rock Cafe, well, there used to be the Smoky Mountain Opry. It's been out of business for a number of years, and is supposed to be turned into a mega attraction this year. A Crayola experience on the left-hand side, and a Nerf action experience on the right-hand side. So two separate attractions taking place in one building. Um, last report I saw, this was gonna open in the fall, but it does not feel like they've done a lot of construction. So I'm not sure if this one will open this year. If it does, I think these will both do very, very well. Um, there's Crayola experiences in other town, like our hometown of Orlando, and they're very popular. They're well-received attractions. And who doesn't like Nerf? That seems like something to be really fun as well. So hope this does happen. I don't know about this year, but uh, if it does, I think it's gonna do very well. Right in the middle of Gatlinburg, you'll find Anakista, a fantastic attraction. New for 2024, they've expanded their Astralumina, which is one of my favorite things to do in, of any attractions here in the Smoky Mountain area. It is their big nighttime walk, so they fixed up one of the scenes and added a new scene. It is a really, really neat themed experience. And also from the people that built Anakista, Later this year in the summer, they're going to be opening something called Wildside, a 900-acre adventure park in Pigeon Forge that's going to be home to UTV tours, mountain biking trails, and e-bike rentals. In all, there's going to be 15 miles of trails over there with a whole bunch of elevation change. So if you're looking for a more wild, outdoorsy adventure, that might be for you. For me, I'll probably stick to the, uh, the Astralumina. I like that quite a bit. Right now we're in Sevierville at the Wilderness at the Smokies Resort, where new for 2024, they've got two different things. The first that opened a little bit ago is their new rooftop bar and lounge that also has this infinity pool there. And man, the views you must get from up there of all the Smokies, really, really cool. Would love to uh, you know have a drink up there, hang out in that pool. Uh, we've actually stayed here before. It's a really fun resort, indoor and outdoor water parks. Also new here at the Wilderness at the Smokies, they're adding big cabins you could rent out. And these are four bedroom or five bedroom, like giant cabins. Molly, how many people do these things sleep? With the five bedrooms, there's two different types. There's a 22 people and a 20 person cabin. And then the four bedroom sleeps 10 people. And obviously that would get you the admission into the indoor and outdoor water parks here. Fun place. 
Right now, we are at the bottom of Ober Mountain as the aerial tramway comes in for a landing. It's a pretty cool attraction. We went last year for the first time. New for 2024, they've got a four-lane zipline course opening up. The first phase opens in mid-May, so pretty soon. About six minutes off the parkway in Pigeon Forge, you'll find the Parkside Resort, which is doing something really, really cool here in 2024. There is a big expansion known as the Teepee Village, where you could go glamping in a modern Native American style teepee. Now there's gonna be a couple different types of teepees, like one big honeymoon style teepee, and then one for the family with bunk beds in it. But this looks like a really cool, very unique place to stay while up here in the Smoky Mountains. Might have to check this one out sometime. The next stop is Space Race Adventures, which I believe is an FEC that's been here for a while, but they fixed it up and gave it a new theme and added some new attractions. So let's go check this out next. So we are now inside. You can see they've got one of these big hurricane virtual reality rides, but we are going through the portal here to play their outer space themed mini golf. Now mini golf here is not cheap. It is $17. We found a coupon to make it $15 but it looks like a really good themed mini golf. It is a really pretty mini golf course. I also, uh, you know, it does get pretty hot or pretty cold here in Pigeon Forge. And with this being climate controlled, it does stay a nice steady degree in here. Right here on the parkway in Pigeon Forge, there's all sorts of wild and crazy gift shops. Now, I'm not sure if the Country Bear General Store is new or not, but I can tell you what, this giant, black bear statue out front that is definitely new and that is quite the photo op right now we're at the titanic attraction in pigeon forge which if you haven't done so it's a very very high quality attraction probably not the most fun and upbeat thing to do on a vacation but it's a very well done museum and this year they added a frozen custard and chocolate sweet shop now you don't have to go to the museum to go to the sweet shop actually very well themed in, in very well themed and they had a big like tile mosaic of an ice cream cone and a frozen custard and actually some pretty very reasonably priced souvenirs like they were selling hoodies for like $15. Currently in downtown Sevierville where later this year they've got something really cool coming soon. It's gonna be called the 1919 Society Speakeasy and it is going to be opening sometime this year and the speakeasy will be located in an old two-story bank vault. Right now we're about 20 minutes off this trip at the Foxfire Adventure Park, which has a zip lines and some hiking trails and bridges. But for 2024, they're building something really, really interesting. It is a steampunk themed hard cidery that is going to be called the Fox and the Apple. New store here in Gatlinburg, right underneath Tennessee Jed's, one of my favorite places to get a sandwich, is Parrot Mountain. Uh, it's an attraction over by Dollywood. They have a store where you can get your picture taken with all sorts of birds and macaws. And it's actually really cool to go in there and see all the birds. For our next new for 2024 attraction, we are currently on the chairlift at Skyland Ranch, right across from the outlet center. We're going Be up. Yeah, because this year they started a couple of dinner shows. Um, there is a chuck wagon supper show that runs on Saturdays, and we're going to a murder mystery dinner show. Never been to a murder mystery. No, we bought them on Groupon for about 40 bucks, and um, I'm intrigued. Now that dinner show does include a three-day admission up here to Skyliner Ranch. Um, cool thing about this one is they've got a whole bunch of miniature animals, and uh, they're just adorable. We have sat down here at the murder mystery dinner show. There's a whole bunch of rules and a list of, I'm guessing, probably suspects. And this is our dinner. Looks like a quarter chicken, some pulled pork, beans, mac and cheese, a roll, corn on the cob, and coleslaw. The beer was included, but they do have a happy hour here from 5 to 6, so the beer was only like 5 bucks. Yeah. So just got done with the murder mystery dinner show. And it was uh, probably a long experience, about an hour and 45 minutes. You do get food and dessert and soft drinks and uh, three days admission to the Skyline Ranch up here. Not like the mountain coaster or the safari ride, but just like the ranch itself to come and see the animals. Um, for me, I thought it was okay. 
I definitely prefer the other giant extravaganza dinner shows in town, like Hatfield and McCoy's and the Pirate's Voyage, over this one, but this one is at a much lower price point. It is also interactive. It's kind of like escape rooms where you have to solve puzzles to figure out yeah. who the murderer was. But also it did kind of feel a little bit more like community theater than a big professional show. Mm -hmm. There's not many sets and stuff. Also new at Skyland Ranch is the Safari Hayride, where you get in a big wagon and then you get to see even more animals than you would normally see at the ranch. I think it's around $15 or so. Not a new for 2024 project, but one that's supposed to be opening in 2025 is the 407 Gateway to Adventure, located right by Bucky's, right off the highway at exit 407. It's supposed to be a nighttime dining, entertainment, uh, food kind of center, similar like the island at Pigeon Forge, anchored by a big indoor attraction built by Poudafu, a French theme park developer, but uh, there is not a lot of construction going on no, here. I think there might be a building. Yeah, there, there's something way over there. But uh, I'm not sure the status of this project because it is uh, doesn't seem to be moving at quite the clip. Hopefully it does happen because that, that Poudafu thing could be really, really neat. Well, not a new for 2024 attraction. This opened at the very end of 2023 and I definitely wanted to check it out the Sky Pirates of Mermaid Bay mini golf course. The mini golf course is really well themed. We're playing the one inside that is mermaid themed, but it's also very expensive. Mini golf here, $20. <laughs> Some of these holes are incredibly well themed. This place must have been very, very expensive to build. Another one that's really, really cool. Do you like this one? It's a giant crab. And some of these holes are very, very tricky. Yes. See if Molly can nail this one. She cannot. Quick peek at the upstairs course, which is uh, also pretty cool. I love the big giant airship that's on top of the building. And there we go. That'll do it for what's new in Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg for the year of 2024. If I missed any new attraction or food or anything else that's awesome opening this year, let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any questions about Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg, also let me know in the comment section below. I go at least once a year. It's one of my favorite places to go visit. And thank you for watching this video.